fall under either of the two divorce options, whether that be mental, physical, or verbal abuse. Absolutely. Um, abuse falls under abandonment because when a person is mentally, physical, or verbally abusive, mm -hmm. um, uh, they are abandoning the vows that they took mm -hmm. to love, yes. care, cherish, honor, honor, respect, respect, um, and those are the vows that were made to God. For better so, or for worse. For better or for worse. Those are the vows that are made to each other. Mm -hmm. But the, the honor and the, oh, yes. all of that, to those the are the Lord. vows that you've made to God, that this individual made to God about you. And the moment they mentally, physically, or, uh, or, or verbally abuse, uh, abused you um, in continuity, mm -hmm. right? With continuity, I should say, uh, they have now mm -hmm. abandoned their vows. And if, they, if they've abandoned their vows in that way, um, just because they've stayed physically, right. <laughs> they've abandoned you in every other way, yes. in the way that they uh, uh, told the Lord mm -hmm. they were going to care for you. Yes. So um, abusive situations falls under abandonment. If you need a soundbite for it so it's clear when you communicate it, ab abuse falls under abandonment, abandonment because... You've abandoned your vows to both God and man about the way you were supposed to take care of your spouse. And love your spouse. That's like right. Christ loved the church. That's right. For sure. Yep. Um, and make sure that as you um, uh, get at this very critical part of your marriage that, again, you have a mediator or a help or a guide right. to guide you um, don't have anybody encourage you to stay in a relationship that is abusive, okay? If you're having somebody encourage you to stay in a relationship that is clearly unhealthy for you in every aspect, then you need to change your help, okay? So make sure you're finding somebody that has godly wisdom and godly counsel that will apply the scripture um, uh, to make sure that you are safe mm -hmm. uh, and that are not dismissive of, of what is happening uh, and making sure that you are having some sort of aid to help you in such a hard time. You know, when people are going through divorce and, and um, or just having critical times, there's so many feelings, there's so many emotions, there's so many, sometimes many people talking in your ear that it just can send you into a state of confusion, just a whirlwind of emotions that you sometimes don't realize what to do. Yeah. And it can be so conflicting. And, and sometimes it's not until you step back. It's like, man, should I have made that decision? Should I have said that? Should I have done that? So again, I advise you to seek godly counsel. Make sure that you are praying and you're in the scriptures for yourself. Get the help you need. Please contact Marriage Minute, our church. Use the resources that we have to help you guide along this process. But do not stay in a relationship where you are constantly abandoned, abused, and that's more than physically. It could be yeah. sexually. It could be emotionally, yeah. mentally, on a repeat. That is unhealthy, and that is not Christ-like. Ah!